Hello everybody, welcome back to Tabi Eats Food Review. Today we are trying out some instant noodles from the Netherlands and Dutch beer. Once again, thank you so much to Tamara and Esther for bringing these over. Once again, these are really, really interesting to me. Uh, last week, we tried some snacks and treats that they brought over, which was amazing. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out by clicking right up there. Uh, but this week, you know, these uh, instant noodles are flavors that we don't have here in Japan. Like it's impossible, you just won't find it. And one especially is really interesting because it's not instant noodles, it's actually instant rice. But what rice. makes this interesting is it's Japanese katsu curry rice. That's that's amazing. Katsu curry katsu instant. Curry. Yeah. Instant katsu curry. Yeah, which is <laughs> basically deep fried pork cutlet with uh, curry with rice. But it's instant. <laughs> like I can't even imagine. <laughs> do you do you remember the the last year we tried the the Dutch instant noodles? Yes, that was I very remember. good. It's a teriyaki uh, yakitori flavor. Yakitori flavor. That was so nice. It really was. It's something that um, I really want. I, I wish we could find here in Japan. Unfortunately, we can't. <laughs> and we're also going to be trying out two beers, Dutch beers. Uh, from the same series that they've sent us, so we're continuing the beer series. Uh, the last time we only tried one, which was the Weizen beer. Weizen beer. And today's one, the same company had beer, the double and triple beer. The double and triple <laughs> beer. Double. What is double and so, triple? <laughs> okay, so the, uh, the double one is it like it says double life. It, it says it means double life, mm -hmm. and the triple one where triple Sva. So that one is heavy life. <laughs> the double one, the double beer. Uh, so this one, okay, you know what? We should just open it. Sorry, Let, let's, let's start this food review, shall we? So let's open the double beer first. Okay. Okay, the color mm. is really dark, yeah. but clear. Yeah, kind of like reminds me of like uh, Dr. Pepper. Like the color <laughs> looks like Dr. Pepper to me. Yeah. <laughs> Or, mm -hmm. or root beer. Yeah, A and W root or beer. Cola. Mmm. <laughs> it smells really um, neutral. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Like it doesn't smell like super fruity or it doesn't smell like it's going to be bitter. Cheers uh, everybody. Cheers. <laughs> Come fight. Mmm. Mm. Mm. It's dark beer flavor. But refreshing dark beer flavor. Mm. Alright. Well, I only had a sip. I'll give it Check to out. you. Caramel. Like caramel, yeah. Mm. So this one, um, there's an explanation. Uh, they, they, we have notes here from them and it says, through the use of chocolate malts, so they're using chocolate malts, this beer gets the red-brown color. It doesn't taste like chocolate though. Uh, this beer tastes slightly sweet and smells of cacao. I understand. I understand. Really? I understand. Sorry, can I try mm -hmm, again then? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cacao. Mm -hmm. Unsweetened cacao flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, and it says, with the first sip, you will get a refreshing and sm soft feel, but it has a long dry finish. That's Isn't an that interesting nice explanation. <laughs> yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, this is made with chocolate malts, wheat malt, hops from the famous Saz hop flowers. Mm. Hmm. For beer, yeah. let's eat noodles. <laughs> For beer, let's <laughs> eat noodles. Okay. So first we have these the packet pack the package type uh, right. package type soba. It's from Nishin. It's a Japanese company. Yes. Nishin. One is chili, one is teriyaki. Yeah, I thought we should start with teriyaki first, because chili sounds intense. So maybe okay. we start with teriyaki. Okay. Yeah. So let's cook. Alright, let's do it. Pour some water mm -hmm. into frying pan or right. a pot and bring it to a boil. Okay, looks like it's boiling. Okay. Let's put in the noodles. Okay. According to the instruction, uh -huh. I have to break these noodles. Oh, okay. So we're gonna break the noodles. Careful. Oh. Careful. Um, like that much? It's okay. It's okay. Just put it in. Just put it in. We don't know. We don't know how to do it. And okay. the cook what two three minutes. Two to three minutes. Alright, so we've broken the noodles. I don't know why we break the noodles. Uh, maybe the noodles are long. 
What do you think? We look kind of like the same noodles as we have in Japan, right? It's similar to instant ramen. Yeah. But this is not ramen, it's yakisoba. Okay. Nah. But stuff fried noodles. Right. But, but same noodles, right? It I think so. The same, it looks the same. Yeah, it looks exactly like the Japanese uh, instant noodles. It's the wavy type of noodles, wheat noodles. Okay, so she said two to three minutes. I think I like to go with two minutes because you know I like my noodles firm. I don't like them too soft. Okay, so after this, they said that all we do is drain the water and then pour in the. Oh, we have to add the, the vegetables. Oh, oh, vegetables. Yes, we have to add oh. the vegetables. This is oh. the vegetables. Oh, it's it's freeze dried vegetables. Yes. Sorry. We have to add the vegetables. I, I thought it's just the seasoning. Okay, so we add the vegetables. And we cook it along with the noodles. Oh, interesting. The, the water is actually just kind of evaporating. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe we don't have to drain. Yeah, maybe not. Oh, interesting. I wonder what kind of vegetables these are. Like cabbage? Cabbage? Does it? Well, you know, usually there is cabbage in yakisoba, which are fried noodles in Japanese. Leeks? Green onion? Could, could be. Very little vegetables though. It's like, you know, it's just specks of <laughs> something. Interesting. You're right. We probably don't have to drain this at all. Mm -hmm. This is great. Okay. So, shall I turn up the heat? Um, no, 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 no. Not yet. Uh, let's just, um, you know what? I, I'm just gonna do this until the water evaporates and, and then maybe okay. I'll just add the sauce now. Okay. I think it's the perfect time to add the sauce. So here we have a packet of sauce. Yeah. Oh, it's a thick sauce. Thick sauce. Mm. Nice and thick and very dark sauce. Oh, it's really hard to cook while sitting, you know, on a table. And the table is quite high. Mm. Oh. Looks nice. All right. I think we're done. Okay. Okay, let's turn, off, turn it off. All right, here we go. I'm gonna divide this into two. That's what the noodles look like. I don't see any vegetables in there. <laughs> so these look like your typical uh, yakisoba. Jinjari. Gingery. Jinjari. So flavor was teriyaki. 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 Interesting, I can't wait to try it. <laughs> Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, so interesting. Mm. Mm. Sweet and a little bit of gingery sauce. Mm. Mm. This actually, good. this is very nice. Mm. Very yeah. nice. This is this teriyaki, mm. but it it's very similar to yakisoba though, like a Japanese yakisoba. You know the the sauce that we use. Maybe a little. I don't know. Like is it like it's not like super sweet like I would expecting. The noodle. I think noodle is a little bit different from Japanese ramen noodles. Really? What's Japanese so ramen noodles, if I make uh, Japanese noodles mm. for yakisoba, fried noodles, mm -hmm. it becomes more soft. Really? Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. Because, you know, I always, um, you know, and this is the thinner. my noodles shorter. The noodle is thinner. That's because we, we cut it. No, 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 no. Thinner. Thinner. Not short. Oh. Thinner. Really? Mm hmm. I can't even tell the difference. It shows. I think it's pretty obvious that Satoshi eats more instant noodles than I do. I don't really eat instant noodles mm. that often. Mm. Actually, I hardly ever do, actually. Noodle texture is a little bit different from Japanese ramen noodle. Mm. Mm. And noodle is a little bit thinner. Mm. And the soup flavor. Yeah, gingery and sweet, not so sweet, but a little bit sweet teriyaki sauce. Mm, mm. I like it, it's pretty mm. good. Um, like it's, it's not weird in any way. Not weird, uh, very like, good. <laughs> like I said, you know, I was expecting a very sweet sauce because mm -hmm. we've tried mm -hmm. teriyaki mm -hmm. flavored, uh, I think noodles from America. Mm. It was like cloy, coyly, mm. it was so sweet. Mm. Um, this is nice. This is nice, not so sweet. No. A little bit sweet, but it's not sweet. No, 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 no. This is not bad at all. Mm. I mm. like this. I like this. Me too. I'm a savory man, so 
This one is this flavor is perfect. <laughs> Savory man. All right. So the next one, we're gonna make it the same way. It's the same type. This is the chili flavor, and the picture has like shrimp on it, shrimp and cabbage. So I, I do wish we had shrimp, but anyway, we don't. So. I don't think so. Yeah. Okay. So we are going to cook it the same way. Same way. way. So okay. So right. let's cook. Let's cook. All right. So we're gonna cook it the same way. We're gonna break the noodles apart. Put the noodles in like so, and cook it for two to three minutes again. Oh, I'm gonna add the vegetables. Vegetables. In. Right. Cannot forget the vegetables. So those are the vegetables. I really do wish, you know, they had um, they used um, like I don't know, bigger slices of cabbage or something. That's right. Yeah. The like Japanese cup yakisoba. Yeah, yeah. You know they have like bigger mm -hmm. pieces of cabbage. Like Peyang, Peyang, Nishi Yufo. Yes. Yeah, you know, we have a lot of different uh, companies that make uh, yakisoba fried noodles here in Japan. Like a lot of companies, and I have to say Peyang probably is my favorite. I think we're gonna add the sauce. Once again, it's a very thick sauce. Really thick sauce. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's thicker than Japanese Japanese yakisoba sauce. Yeah, I agree. The yakisoba sauce usually is like quite thin actually mm -hmm. in Japan. Mm -hmm. Or or actually we use powder. Like yeah, for, for the package one. one. Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Oh this one smells like Japanese yakisoba like even more than the first one I think. Really? So here we go. This is the spicy yakisoba. The color is darker than the first one. It is. It is. We'll see how spicy it is. Doesn't it smell like like Japanese yakisoba? That's like, right. More than mm -hmm. the first one. Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> spicy smell. <laughs> it's coming to my nose. Really? It, no. It smells like like you know yakisoba, like Japanese yakisoba, but spicy smell. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's Let's Hmm. Mm. It's a sim it's a close to Japanese yakisoba flavor. It is. Mm. Little bit spicy. Pirito. Mm. Pirito. Mm. It is a little spicy. Just a little mm. bit though. It's just a slight kick. It's not like like it doesn't linger in my mouth. Mm. Although it is a little spicy now. It's like it's getting there. For but me, it's not it's too bad. Comfortably spicy. Me too. Yeah, I think spicy food should be about this spicy. You know, mm. I used to love spicy food. These days, I can't handle spice for some reason. I like spice food, so this one is very spicy for some people. Mm. <laughs> mm. Taste-wise, it's very similar to Japanese yakisoba. Mm. A little bit different. Mm. I think the Japanese one is a little bit sweeter, I think. But yeah, this, one has a this one is sweeter than the first one. You think so? Yeah. I thought the first one was sweeter. Yeah, first one has also sweet teriyaki, so it's mm. sweet. But this one is a spicy and salt, uh, spicy and sugar. Spicy and sugar. Spicy. So you think this one's sweeter than the first one? Yeah, the the su sweet depth. Sweet depth, really <laughs> sweet. Sweet depth. Ah, and the first one was sweeter. This one is like more savory to me. It it is definitely you know like a little bit sweet, but. Hmm. Which one do you, do you like better so far? The first one or this one? This one. Really? <laughs> this one. <laughs> I like the first one more. So we're moving on. The, uh, before we move on, you want to um, drink some more of your beer? Yes. Your second beer? The second beer is a triple beer. Triple beer. <laughs> Alright, so this one is a triple beer. And this is the showpiece of this beer series. Showpiece? The showpiece. This is the, the supposed to be the... the the best one, maybe. And it's a triple beer with both sweetness and bitterness. Oh. Yeah, and it goes well with many kinds of food. Mm. And in here, uh, they're, they, they're using honey from the veluve, wheat malts, cilantro, and orange peel. Complex. So, wow, that's, <laughs> that's like, a, like a recipe right there. <laughs> Interesting. Now, this I, I would love to try. All right, here we go. Mm. This one, this color is uh, the beer, a uh, regular beer for me. Yeah. The, the little bit cloudy, but the Japanese 
ポピュラーでビアカラー。うん、lots of foam。lots of foam。Lots of foam. Lots of foam. <laughs> It's like a dessert. うん、わお。This one's like complex. This one's like, like, like bitter for me. Like,、um, this is the type of beer, it's too complex for my palate. Like, and too bitter. And aroma、mm. and taste is different. The aroma came、mm. from this form.、Mm. It's like a, yes, it's like a vegetable. It's、okay. a vegetable. Cilantro or something like that.、Mm. Arby, herby, <laughs> arby aroma. But the, the beer as it is,、mm. is not, <laughs> not arby. Yeah. What do you think? Do you like it? This is your signature beer.、Mm-hmm. I want to drink in a special occasion, such as in the party or a ceremony. Party. Or, yeah. A ceremony.、Mm-hmm. Really? Why not like a normal time? Like a normal time? It's quite, quite unique for me.、Mm-hmm. The flavor is very different from my regular beer.、Mm. Yeah, it's very interesting.、Mm. All right, now we're going to move、mm-hmm. on to our food. And we're taking a break from the noodles because the next one is that Japanese katsu curry long green That's rice. That's interesting. <laughs> that we're talking about. That's interesting. It's super interesting. This is easy because all you have to do is、um, put some hot, boiling water in here and wait for five minutes and it's finished. Okay, so we're gonna open this up and it looks like that. You just you see the rice in here? Okay, so that's what it looks like. And we are, you can, you, I, you can adjust. The thickness of the sauce. I can see the three lines. Yes. So I'm gonna put it like somewhere in between, like around here. This is your recommended. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I should like just give it a quick mix, like so, just to make sure that all the rice is、um, touching the water. I'm gonna close this up. I'm gonna wait for five minutes. Okay. Five minutes has passed. Then I'm gonna open this up. And she says to give this a really good mix. I'm gonna use my chopsticks here. All right, mix it up like so. Wow, it's still kind of watery.、Um, I think we're supposed to let it sit, maybe, after giving it a mix. Okay, so let's check this out, guys. It looks like this it's fairly thick,、um, not like completely thick. But that's what it looks like. Long grain rice. I see some bits of carrots and interesting. I, it looks, it actually looks pretty good. All right, let's give this a try. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. How is it? I'm searching the katsu flavor. Oh, that is interesting. Spicy curry flavor. I really like curry flavor.、Mm. It, it, it's not like,、um, <clears throat> like super Japanese tasting. It's actually some kind of spice.、Mm. It's different from and, Japanese curry. And it's、um, maybe because it's like, like watery. It's like watery curry.、Uh, it's not as salty as Japanese curry, I think.、Mm. Right? It, like in Japan, this would be considered like subtle tasting.、Mm. And it's not so hot spicy. No, it's not.、Mm. Mm. Katsu flavor, and I can, I can taste a little、mm. bit sweetness.、Mm. Maybe it's the <clears throat> tonkatsu sauce. Tonkatsu sauce. Tonkatsu sauce atmosphere. I, I, really? I, I don't get that. It's like a panko flavor. Panko. Panko flavor. Bread crumbs. Grand bread crumbs. I, 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 I don't get any katsu flavor. I only get curry, like watery curry. Maybe this sweetness is tonkatsu sauce and katsu panko bread crumbs imitation flavor. <laughs> Are you just forcing it? <laughs> I feel like you're trying to force the katsu flavor somehow into this mix. Because、really... this is katsu, katsu curry. <laughs> katsu curry. So there is something,、mm. something essence of katsu. Right. Interesting. Anyway, we have one more to try. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one is、uh, soba. This is also from Nishin, the, the first、um, two that we tried. But this one comes in a cup, and this is sukiyaki beef. Sukiyaki beef. It's like a 
The last year is yakitori one. Yeah, it's so interesting. Sukiyaki beef. All right, let's see if this is any different from the the first two that we've tried. Okay, so this one comes in the cup, and it says, "What does it say?" Ah, we have to drain it later on. Okay, so we open it just like you normally do. I wonder if we need this. Do we need this? Because we're gonna put this on it. So. Okay, so we can just take this out completely. Oh, look at this one. This one has uh, pieces of meat and maybe some red bell pepper and I see some scallions and onions inside. Hmm. Okay, we're going to add water to the lime. This so we can put it all the way to the lime. There we go. And we are going to close it up. I, I, I like that they have this cap here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You don't need cup man. And then we're going to add our sauce on top. That's to warm up the sauce and keep it like this. For about five minutes. Uh, five minutes has passed. Oh, we have to drain this, yeah. don't we? Okay, can I just drain it in the frying pan? Oh, okay. All right. So let's drain the water out. Careful, it's always really, really hot. Hmm. I have ah, it's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. <laughs> you almost need like protective gloves for this one. Let's open it up, and we're gonna add in the sauce. Ooh. Once again, it's a thick sauce. Give this a mix. I like that this one has a lot of vegetables inside. Lots of vegetables. Okay, so here the noodles all mixed up. Why don't you have a bite? Sukiyaki beef. Sukiyaki beef. It doesn't smell like sukiyaki beef though. Mm, a little bit of chili pepper. Yeah, kind of like mm, chili. Mm, mm. Yeah. So that's making me very curious. Itadakimasu. How is it? Sukiyaki? Sukiyaki. Is it really? Mm. Sukiyaki? Yeah, because no. it is sweet. Sweet sukiyaki sauce. Really? Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. But the vegetable flavor, the bell pepper flavor is strong. Sauce flavor is like really like sukiyaki. Mm. Have another bite. Mm. Ah. No, 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 no. Burdock. 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 That's the taste. Burdock. Is there burdock in here? I, I want to know. So. This don't you think so? I was wondering, no, because there was a very um, strong flavor in here. I couldn't figure out what it was. At first I thought it was lamb, but it's a very earthy flavor. Mm. The combination of a burdock and a bit of pepper. <laughs> Which is actually a very um, odd combination. It's not normal. For sukiyaki. For sukiyaki. Mm. The sauce taste mm. is sweet and soy saucy. Mm. It's a sukiyaki. So yeah, the, the sauce is sukiyaki flavor. Mm. Sorry, can I take one more bite? This one confuses me. This one totally confuses me. Mm. It's a little bit earthy flavor. Mm. The yakitori one, mm. the last year we ate, mm. is more yakitori, the authentic. Right. Try, try, the, try the beef. The beef is actually quite nice. It's like, it's like real meat. Mm. 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 Alright, this one, maybe because in my head I'm expecting sukiyaki, it's different from sukiyaki. The, the sauce is similar, but uh, with all the other ingredients that they've added, it's it's taking away from the sukiyaki experience for me. It It's, it's like a completely different dish for me. <laughs> okay, alright, so we have come to the end of this instant noodle and instant rice and Dutch beer taste test. Um, it's time to choose our favorite. Mm -hmm. I like beer, but I don't choose beer. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't right, right, because the main thing is the food, right? Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. So, my favorite one today is this chili soba. Really? Yaki soba. Interesting, that is so interesting <laughs> because my favorite yes, teriyaki one. <laughs> is the first one, the teriyaki one. That was my favorite. <laughs> That really, really was. Um, you know, um, this was very, very interesting to me because first of all, a lot of times that we try instant noodles, especially from like Nishin, which is a Japanese company, the taste is very different, especially if you buy them in America. I don't know why. The ones in America, they, they're, maybe because they don't use MSG. I, I don't know. It just <laughs> tastes very different from what we have here. And they have like strange flavors like mac and cheese, which doesn't make any sense to me. But, um, these were good. These were like these, the chili and the teriyaki, these two were something you could actually serve a Japanese person yeah. and mm. they, they probably would like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I want to buy in Japan too. 
Yeah, the Japanese katsu curry was very interesting. Um, that one, I can imagine me eating it. Like, for example, if I lived in a foreign country that didn't have many restaurants that have Japanese curry, I probably would buy this. You know, just because I'd be, you know, like homesick for mm -hmm. katsu curry, sukiyaki beef, I'd probably leave it. I, I, I wouldn't recommend that. But once again, that's just my opinion. But for this katsu, this is very close to Japanese curry. It is. It's very close. But if you say the katsu curry, mm. you need one more thing. You do. One you do. One more thing. You too. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Plus, it's long grain rice, so it kind of makes it different as well. Once again, thank you to Esther and Tamara for allowing us to try these very interesting things. We had a great time trying these out. So, so interesting for us. We hope the rest of you guys enjoyed watching this video. And until next time, take care. Have a good day, good evening, wherever you are. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye. Bye.